trending show. We're back. We are back. It's another week, another list, another time sitting down chatting with my good friend Justin. What's up, man? About all things on the YouTube trending list and all things in our life. You know what I just realized? What did you realize? (laughs) The coronavirus is not on it this week. Which is interesting because it oh it is oh it is Trump okay. attempts uh, Trump attempts to ease coronavirus fears okay yeah do you have fears you know um, I think I have uh, let's see um, fear fear I don't think is the word yet I guess I'm not there yet yeah but yeah. I'm definitely aware yeah you know what I mean I'm definitely yeah. um, it is in my mind and mm-hmm. it is something that uh, I would be. I feel like I would be amiss to not consider, right. you know, given given the climate of what's going on with right. with this crazy virus. Right. What about you? I've had two weird uh, coronavirus experiences. Okay. Not. I went to Costco. I told you this. I went to Costco, right, right. and I didn't get that much stuff. I think I got like probably twenty cans of soup or chili okay. or right. chicken noodle or mm-hmm. whatever. And the cashier said. If people keep buying extra stuff like this, and I, I didn't have a shopping cart for yeah, it. Yeah, right, like right. 20 cans of soup, loaf of mm-hmm. bread, whatever. Um, she said, we're going to run out of food. And I was like, are you serious? Yeah. And she said, yeah. Yeah, people are coming in full of shopping carts. Like, so crazy. am I worried about contracting the disease? Eh, I mean, I just, not. I'm not, that's not really my concern. My concern yeah. is you're going to go to the grocery store. Right. And it's going to be empty. Yeah. Just like before hurricane hits. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's all empty. And I then, mean, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, and then I went to Walmart today. Got yeah, an oil okay. change. Hit up Walmart, had to grab a few things. And what the Costco cashier said to me is kind of just like reverberated in my mind. So I went and I got a whole bunch of cans of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not a full cart, but a lot of stuff. Uh, some supplies. Yeah, yeah. And the cashier was hacking. <laughs> and oh, normally, geez. normally I'm just like, oh, she has a cold and like. You know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to. <laughs> right. But now I'm thinking like, do you have, who have you been in contact with? Yeah, right. Why are you coughing like that? Yeah. Um, But she's like, what are you going to do with all this soup? And I thought she was joking. So I was like, yeah. Yeah. And she said, no, really. <laughs> what are you going to do with all the soup? <laughs> I thought that was a really oh, strange man. question. Yeah. So I wanted to say, well, I rub it under my eyes before I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I bathe in it. <laughs> Yeah. Take a nice chicken noodle bath. And I said, night. oh, we eat it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh. A lot of soup in She said, house. oh, that's good. And I look across to the next aisle. Dude has two shopping carts full of bottled water. There, yeah. They haven't even, like, told us to quarantine ourselves yet. Yeah, they haven't, right. There hasn't even been the rush yet. Right. But I, when I was at Walmart, and I'm sharing this because if you're listening to this show, I appreciate you doing that. And so I want to, like, just not freak people out, but, like... Go to your freaking Walmart. Look at the aisle of soup. It looks like the aisle's full. There's just a row or two of cans. Oh, yeah. It's Behind not deep. it is empty. Wow. Empty. It's crazy. Good. Dude. Good. I like it. I like it. And honestly, uh, you've mentioned this too, like going to going to a store on game day. Yes. And they're sold out of stuff. I mean, imagine if, <laughs> if it was like a real epidemic and things got crazy. They it, know it chicken be... <laughs> wings are going to be bought on freaking Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> yet they're out on Saturday morning. So be prepared. Be prepared, man. Be prepared. All oh, right. Man, I was not prepared for Lady Gaga, stupid love trailer. No. Interesting, Segway, man. You see that? that was great. I'm a professional. That was, that was very good. I was. I saw that on the list. Lady Gaga is uh, in in the hype of dropping a new song and new music mm-hmm, video. Mm-hmm. Uh, she released a couple trailers. Yeah, and instantly when I watched the trailer, I was a little like like this emoji like. Yeah, you said that to me, and I had to like huh? like I, people never use that one. <laughs> yeah, well, my wife uses it all day long. Really, probably because I say stuff where she's like, huh? but anyways, <laughs> um, I it made me like. What? Oh, so it felt, dude, it felt vibes of like, do you remember late 90s, early 2000s mm-hmm. music videos when MTV was still uh-huh. popping and the labels would drop these huge budgets yep. on these wild music yeah. videos. So, I mean, there's costumes, there's, yeah. there's, they're filming on location, weird stuff. Stunt doubles. But exactly, but it felt, it felt like that. It felt like I was back in that time where it was like this music video is kind of, and when you watch those music videos now, they feel like low budget. Like they look kind of 
yeah. kind of shoddy. Yeah. But um, it felt had had those vibes to it. Um, do you remember? Do you remember Usher when Usher was big? Uh, yeah, he had a, he had a music yeah. video called My Way, and yeah. it was like him and they were all uh, Jermaine Dupri, and they're all dressed in these like crazy gang costumes. Yeah. And it was like this dance sequence in like a in like a you know irrigation ravine and Ooh. like people are running mm -hmm. but it just it felt like that yeah. you know what i mean like those just yeah. those crazy costumes weird stuff so um she's great though man like you want to talk about a talented artist yes. she's yes. great and yes. it, from acting to right. singing to songwriting all right. of it she kills right taylor swift the man Woo. so i when i when i saw this video on the list i had actually read an, or saw news like notification right. saying like Taylor Swift looks unrecognizable in her new music video. Right. The man. And so I, I came in knowing that it yeah. was Taylor, yeah. but even coming in knowing that it was yeah. Taylor in the music video, I had, yeah. I couldn't, I was like, yeah, really? Are right. we sure that's Are her? Are we sure? And, uh, just crazy. Like it's, it's, First of all, crazy what we can do with prosthetics and makeup yeah, and, and costuming these days. But um, but she she does. She looks completely unrecognizable. But like, what a cool way to drop the song. Obviously, the song's about you know gender roles and and um, uh, gender equality rather. And um, and so she just she plays the part of a male. And she's doing she's just doing all these ridiculous like the male like what do they call it the male spread like yeah, man in, the, spreading, in the bus and the peeing uh, on the wall peeing on walls high five and yelling chest people. bumps yeah you know, and very uh, very much like uh, what was the movie with Leo uh, Wolf of Wall Street yeah you know yeah, like those yeah. vibes on the on yeah. the yacht with the girl it was funny yeah. but um, definitely check this video out if you want to see some amazing. Uh, what what we can do with hair and makeup these days it's amazing it's nuts it's and crazy. at the end they do a quick little like time lapse of at the very end of yeah. the video they show yeah. taylor as herself and then her getting all the stuff put on the transformation is wild crazy next one the hacksmith is the uh creator here uh one two scale tesla cybertruck versus ford f-150 toe test pretty amazing this is so cool pretty amazing. so cool so the Hacksmith, they take uh, through science and math and engineering, they recreate um, they recreate things from movies and and from from film and in this particular so like so like they'll take a take a weapon from the Marvel universe right. and try to recreate it right. or like 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 Captain America's crazy. fist and shield mm -hmm. and all this stuff and then use it yeah like it, as they're using it in the movie yeah. just to see uh, if they can recreate it in this video. They do the Tesla Cybertruck. The abilities of this thing that they created are <laughs> insane. Well, it's, it right. pulled an F-150. Which is crazy. And the Cybertruck also had a bunch of stuff in the back of it. Yeah. So, yeah, they put, so, so, uh, they, so, first off, they, they recreate the Cybertruck. Right. And, and the, and the information that we have on the cyber, <laughs> Cybertruck is very limited. Yeah. Like we know the specs as far mm -hmm. as how fast it can yeah. go and, and what it, what the materials yeah. are that make it up, what type of engines in it and stuff like that. But they're going off of like imagery and, right. and maybe, maybe some measurements of what the truck is yeah, maybe. At, or is yeah. going to be. Cause it's not yeah. even out yet. That's right. the thing. That's what's other, the right. other crazy <laughs> part. And they recreate a, a 50 per, uh, half scale, half scale yeah. of what this truck is. Right. And it looks so rad. It's so good. So rad. It's so good. Um, and then, yeah. And then they start uh, doing toe tests. So they pull it up against a, a like a Polaris, you know, uh, razor. They pull mm -hmm. it up against a, uh, what was the little, it was like a smart car, not a smart car. Uh, oh, yeah. Like a Fiat yeah, or something. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then they get down to the F-150. Right. And because because the F-150 weighs a, is a 5,000 pound truck and this uh, model is only a thousand pounds. They right. drop. They're like, let's drop a thousand pounds in the back of this thousand sure. pound thing, and sure. then see if it can pull it. Sure, sure enough. So, well, I want to see it against uh, the actual Cybertruck, Cybertruck Dude. Mini versus Cybertruck. Dude, I mind blown. Would it just explode? Yeah. And the the do you remember when they when they released the Cybertruck and they yeah. or excuse me they didn't release it they they did the uh, like a press, press conference. what do you call it yeah press yeah. conference yeah. or like Thing. Apple does them anyways yeah. and they go and they throw the 
steel ball. They're talking about yeah. they're talking about this this bulletproof glass. Yeah. Won't break under any we'll circumstances. Dude takes a steel ball and like hucks yeah. it. Like doesn't isn't like pitcher speed, just no. is like throws Loves it at the it. window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure enough, it just breaks. I have thoughts about that. What I have all thoughts? the thoughts about the bulletproof glass and the press conference. Look at his face after he throws it. He yeah. throws it. It hits the glass. Uh-huh. You think he would have a look of surprise, mm-hmm. shock. Doesn't react. He doesn't react. I think it was all a ploy. Um. I think. Well, why would they want bad yeah, press? Yeah, yeah. Because we're talking about it right now. Yeah. Like we're talking about. Oh, remember when they threw yeah, it in the broke? A couple months later. Yeah. We're talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. I I think that it was just for buzz. I. Yeah. I could be wrong, but if you look at his face. If you look he at his face, it, yeah, because I heard people say it like, "Oh uh-huh. no, that was fake. That was fake. They knew it was gonna happen." Yeah, look at his face, man. Are you talking about Elon or the guy who actually? The threw guy it? who threw it. Oh, okay. The guy who threw like it. Like he knew he was like, "Okay, this is gonna break. Here we go." Yep. Huh. Yep. Uh, I could be wrong. He could be terrified. Be he could be like, "Crap. Yeah. This is my boss right here. Yeah. I was in charge of making sure this yeah. glass is good. I, I got to throw hard. it perfect." Like maybe he just he just froze. I was like, well. Yeah, maybe. Got to totally sharpen maybe. up the resume. The other thing is, I don't know if I want bulletproof glass in my car. Right? I mean, you drive, and then you... Um, extreme example. Yeah, yeah. None, this is never going to happen to any of us, but it happens to some people. You fall in water, how do you get out? Yeah, you can't yeah. break the glass. Yeah. Ugh. And Ugh. then you drive through a, like a rough neighborhood, or not a rough neighborhood. Are people going to shoot at you? Right. Just to like see it bounce off? Oh, look, that car's bulletproof. Yeah. Yeah. You won't get hurt. Yeah. Oh, man. But I'm all about the Cybertruck. At Toy Fair in New York last week, I took a photo next to the okay. Hot Wheels Cybertruck, which is RC, and then okay. a bigger one. I think it was 164th scale, which is sold out now, but that was also RC. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. I'm all about it. It's such a cool look, man. Oh. It's very, it's very like, uh, it's very like, uh, you know, uh, futuristic. Mad Max yeah. vibes, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, going back to the bulletproof glass, yeah. like it does, it just looks like something that you know, Mad Max would just drive through the desert. It's have you driven in a Tesla or been in one? Never. I haven't either. But our friend John went to Seattle and he okay. rented one All right. for the day. It was okay. his first experience. And you got to hear him talk about it, man. Yeah. It, he, they loved it. Dude, everyone says it's just, a, it's a different it's, sensation. It's not a it's car. A it's a lot. Drive. It's a computer. Like mm-hmm. it's, yeah. I yeah. Don't know. And like the accelerate, and these are fast cars. Tesla, oh yes, Tesla makes some fast cars, and the acceleration mm-hmm. is like it's not like an engine where you feel it yeah. revving up. It's like mm-hmm. we're going. Yeah, this is it. The creator on this one is Tyler Williams. The video is we stayed in a twenty five thousand dollar hotel room in Vegas. Have you ever been in one of these suites? No, uh, mm-hmm. no, not a not a twenty five thousand dollar hotel room. Okay, so born and raised in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, hotels and casinos are no, uh, I mean, we're no strangers to them. No. And we know that they, these, uh, casino owners and hotel owners make, they try to make their hotel, their, ex- the best experience, the, best. the most gorgeous yeah. from the light fixtures to the paint, to the carpet, to all the things. Yeah. And the, the nicer you can make your rooms, the more people want to stay there. It becomes a staple and things like that. Yeah. The nicest room I've ever been in was a it was a suite in the Bellagio, Ooh. and uh, it was a friend of mine. Um, it was actually a friend of mine. His dad had gotten the suite for for a bachelor party. Nice, and uh, and it was like I want to say that one was maybe like twenty five hundred square feet. And if you think of a hotel room, twenty five hundred square feet, that's the size of a house. Oh yeah, right? that's that's oh, yeah. like house there's, size. There's like bedrooms in this. Sure, room. yeah. There's there's a living, a living room, room. There's a kitchen. Yeah. There are two suites uh there was a powder room for guests there was like you know 2500 square feet wow this hotel room that right. they stayed in right 14,000 square feet had its own pool had its own Insane. dining room had its own like uh the closets themselves were like bigger than yeah you know a normal size bedroom yeah uh insane insane um and i forget i forget where it was but it was um, it the um I, th- I want to say they said Elvis stayed there, right? Yeah. So it's been around a minute. It's been around a minute. Um, but anyways, just it's so uh, it's almost gaudy. You know what I mean? It's so. I wasn't like, really familiar with the ho- Westmark. Did they say Westmark? 
Westmark, Westgate, Westgate, maybe? something like Here, that. Here we'll find out. I feel like they said Elvis stayed there, or yeah. maybe it, they maybe did. It, okay. And Barry Manilow was there, right? Roommate. Yeah. So, so it's an older, uh, older, you know, room, but for for fourteen thousand square feet, twenty five thousand yeah. dollars a night. Westgate, Westgate. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I wonder if we I, uh, like a gem or something, or maybe the, the name has changed since. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it the Hilton? Oh, maybe. Because Manilow was staying maybe. there. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, the, yeah. Hilton's, the Hilton's been around a <laughs> minute. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, Westgate. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. So, but anyways. Yeah. That's what it have is. You ever, have you ever, like, tour, even toured one of these? I had a cousin who worked at the, I think, Bellagio, and he told me about some of these yeah. elaborate hotel rooms, and uh, we were going to, because he had, he was management, so we were yeah, going to yeah. check it out once. Never did. Um so to answer your question, no. I stayed at a decent hotel room, uh, suite in uh, the Red Rock. Okay. And uh, it was I love nice. the Red Rock. But it was like, you know, regularly 500. I got it on hotels.com yeah. for like yeah. 300. Yeah. Like it wasn't. <laughs> but it had a family room. It had a, a big bedroom and a really nice bathroom. Cool. Nothing. Nothing, nothing like, this. like this. Nothing. A pool. It didn't have its own personal pool inside. Um, pool. No, it didn't. Oh, man. It What's didn't. the most you've ever spent on a hotel room? Um, you can be honest. This is a safe place here. This is a safe place. It's just us and them. Oh, uh, geez. I don't know. I don't see. I don't listen. I don't. I just lost my tab. That's why I was clicking around here. Um, I don't mess around with hotel rooms. Yeah. Some things in life you don't get like the cheap stuff with mm-hmm. surgery, papal price, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hotels. Especially, yeah. I don't care if it's a big city or not. You get the nice hotel, man. Yeah. I don't want bed bugs. Mm-mm. I don't want management having a peephole in the wall oh, watching me while man. I slumber. Yeah. Like, I don't mess around. Uh-huh. So I just stayed at the Marriott Marquis in New York. Okay. It's 300 bucks a night. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, you, I could have got rooms a lot cheaper sure. elsewhere, but. Sure, yeah. No, I couldn't agree more, around, man. man. I couldn't don't. agree. I feel like I've spent, uh, there was a time in my life, maybe even early on in my marriage, where uh, the budget hotel was necessary in order yes. to do yes. our trip. Yes. Um, but if there's one thing I've learned from yes. that time, you know, been married 13 years from that early on yep. days to now, especially with kids, don't yep. skimp no. on the hotel fee. And And I'm with you. Like, there were times where we just had to stay where we had to stay. Yeah, yeah. Know? Like yeah. anything's better than sleeping on the streets, right? <laughs> but dude, I remember the last hotel, it was in eastern Idaho. There were I didn't end up staying at it. I drove back home. There were body hairs woven oh. into the blankets and sheets. Oh my god. Like someone took a needle and <laughs> threaded it with body hair and did they I don't know how it was possible. But we were supposed to stay there with my parents. So and like they had a room next to us. I walked in. Our oldest was like six months or a year, maybe two years. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, nope. I, can't, I cannot. There Here. was a brown smudge on the wall in the bathroom. I can't. I can't. I cannot Ugh. do that. I just can't. Like, nasty. Ugh, nasty. Brutal. So. Next one on the list here. Good Mythical Morning. Can you guess who's lying? Game. <laughs> this, this just goes back to Rhett and Lake, and we've said it on previous episodes, just how creative them and their staff yes. are to create a game like this. So uh, they had a couple of uh, uh, actors, celebrity guests on the show with them. So it's Rhett and Link, um, Rob Corddry, and I forget the other gal's name, Hayes, uh, Aaron Hayes. And she, uh, I'm sorry, and then they're, they're, they throw them in trench coats and they're playing a game <laughs> called, uh, you got to guess whose lines, Deceptive Detective. Yeah. So um, they all get, they have a, a person who they're going to interview who's committed a crime. And that guy's also an actor, which is really funny. It's kind of the funniest part of the video. And they all have to guess. Uh, they're all given a folder, uh, the four of them. And one of their folders is blank. But the other three have what the guy, what the guy's crime he's accused of committing. Okay. And then they have to proceed to interview him as detectives right. to determine... Uh, to just kind of play the role up. But one of these guys has no idea what he did. So uh, so then the, the panel, the four of them, have to guess who was the deceptive detective. It was just, it, it just, it, that's one of those games where it's like you watch it and you're like, I want to play this game. Yeah. Like, these guys are so, so creative and so funny. Um, and it's just a cool way. That's what I love about like 2020, man, is there's, 
it's not just it, no more is it just sit down in a chair across from somebody and interview them and ask them questions it's like let's engage in a game yeah. hot ones yeah um good mythical morning these guys can you guess who's lying game like it's just a cool way to like sit down with the celebrity guest and play it jimmy fallon james corden they yes. all do games now you yes. know it's like it's, it's just a cool way to like find new uh I don't know. You learn more things about your guest. You learn right. and you get to see them in this in this funny element. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know. It's just fun, man. So fun. I'm all about it. And I think I'm a pretty good judge of if someone's lying or not. Yeah. And um, I, dude, I'm going to throw my wife under the bus right now. <laughs> it's going to happen. Do it. Do it. We're in New York. All right. At a restaurant across the street from our hotel. On the menu, it said famous chicken sandwich. I'm all about a famous or unfamous chicken sandwich, dude. <laughs> I'll eat a D-list celebrity chicken sandwich or I'll eat the famous one. It doesn't matter to me. Right, right. Like, and what makes the chicken sandwich famous? I don't know. Was it a celebrity chicken? Or like, is it just really... Po- I don't know. Maybe a family of celebrity chickens? I don't know. But I'm like, dude, I we've been trying to eat low carb, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in New York, dude. I'm going to eat some pizza and a chicken sandwich. Yeah, it's all yeah, good. Yeah. And so I see this and I order it. And I dive into it and I'm eating it and I'm like, Cassie, this is so good. And I was like, do you want to try it? And she's like, I'm so upset at her right now. My voice is shaking. (laughs) She said, I'm going to look at the camera so I can really connect with the viewer here. She said, I don't really like chicken sandwiches. What? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a pretty good judge of if someone's telling me the truth or not. She was telling me the truth. What? We've been married 14 years, I think. Oh, my gosh. I think 14. Yeah. And this, like, I didn't. (laughs) I I almost. Who? What? Are you American? (laughs) Who doesn't like a spicy chicken sandwich? Seriously. Uh, Especially a famous one. Oh, my gosh. And she looked at me like eye to eye. Like, I don't really like those. And I was so hurt. (laughs) So hurt. Didn't so then the I'm like, just try it. Like I thought I could like turn her, right? Yeah, like yeah, she'll yeah. have this and be like, oh my gosh, it's yeah, so yeah. good. She took a bite and she's like, oh, hmm. that hurts. That hurts deep. Dude. So deep. Dude. You think you know somebody, you know? Yeah. But then I had like a rush of memories. Like she, going to Chick-fil-A, she's like, do you want the, the nugget things or do you want that chicken sandwich thing? It's not a chicken sandwich uh, thing. Blasphemy. What? I know. It's the home of the chicken sandwich. Cassie's breaking my heart. I know, man. <laughs> I was like so confused. Oh. It's like, do how are we oh compatible God. with each other? <laughs> like, who are you? And then I was like, you only dated three months and got married. I was like, okay, well that this would have come up if we would have yeah, dated. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, the month four is usually when yeah. chicken sandwich talk comes yeah. out. Yeah, that, that that makes sense. She won't drink milkshakes. She no? doesn't like them. She doesn't like ice cream. What? I know. It's what? all. I know. I know. I know. Oh my We're going Dr. Phil. Figure this you out. You should, man. man. Oh, I really don't like chicken sandwiches. What? Okay. You and your Cobb salad. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said later, she's like, this is a really good Cobb salad. <laughs> How do you mess up lettuce and ranch? <laughs> Explosum Entertainment presents Orphan, Cyanide, and Happiness Shorts. This was actually my first Cyanide and Happiness, but you know all about it. Which I cannot believe. But it's not like the chicken sandwich. I'm saying I I didn't know. You actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. (laughs) Cyanide and Happiness Shorts are just a... Just a level. There's, they're just glorious. Like they're so easy to digest, and they are so powerful, punchy with the comedy. Sometimes, um, uh, sometimes you definitely want to watch Cyanide and Happy Happiness Shorts without the kids around. Yeah, it's like a, it's like when you want some good, funny yeah. adult humor that yeah. might be, might kind of cross the line a little bit. Yeah. Where you're like, Ugh, uh, but you laugh because it's just a cartoon and comedy yeah. writers getting together. So, yeah. like if you can understand that. Anyways, um, <laughs> I can't believe you never seen Cyanide and Happiness Shorts. There was a website that they used to be on. Uh, Explosum owned a website. Oh, man. 
shoot. It seems like the same style of animation as Homestar Runner. Yeah, uh, similar, similar. They are they related? I don't think so. Okay, but um, anyways, in this this video, (laughs) they leave. They have a baby, or this lady has a baby, and she clearly is like giving her baby to this this family, and because she's struggling, obviously, it leaves. But (laughs) leaves him on the doorstep, (laughs) and then a night goes by. Yeah, it's like raining and dark when she leaves him, and then and then the sun comes up. And then the sun goes down, the sun comes up, the sun goes up, the sun comes up. Seasons change, years roll by, and this baby just continues to grow inside of this little basket. It's so funny. And then he, and then he, puts, the, he puts the basket on his head like a helmet or a hat. Rings the doorbell, because he's an adult at this point. It's been years. And he says, Mom and Dad, it's time for me to move on. And they're like, who is this guy? Uh, Just watch it. That's the type of humor you get with Cyanide and Happiness. It's so ridiculous (laughs) and so just makes no sense. But it's just like it's glorious. Tickles the funny bone, man. It's funny (laughs) stuff. So click hole. If you're looking for a click hole, Cyanide and Happiness shorts, you'll think. Oh, they're all they're all shorts. They're all. Clips yeah, like so there's minute, Cyanide Happiness shorts, minutes. and then there's uh, there's a few series on the channel, um, but the shorts are are what what I've always looked for yeah. to most. And yeah, like years they've been they've been making. It looks games, like they have so. a card game as well. Yeah, they've got well, they've got some games on Amazon. Yeah, that you can you can use that use the uh, Charlie Tom. Um, yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, they've got shorts. They've got kind of behind the scenes stuff. They've got uh, uh, mashup mashup monday mashup where i think they mix you know a few of the shorts together but it's just like it's just funny <laughs> so man. good funny i'm stuff. all about it i'll check it out well that was a great list amazing I think list we're, yeah so good so good. so good uh thank you all so much for watching and listening to us here on trending show if you're watching us on youtube hit that thumbs up button subscribe that's right and new episodes every week and clips Best of clips always coming out throughout the week. So. Yeah, give us a five star podcast rating. Yeah, if you're listening to us on a podcast right now, we would appreciate that. And if you're listening up through this point, it's probably because you enjoyed yourself. So yes. thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. See you next time. See you next time.